excited to be presenting our viewers with a couple cleansers from PH Hubby. Yes, we have two cleansers here because gone are the days that you use the same cleanser in the morning as you use at night. That's right. We have different needs in the morning, don't we? That's true. So what I have here is the PH Hubby Hout 5.7 Foam Cleanser for the morning. Okay. And then you are holding what? The Hout 5.7 Gel to Foam Cleanser. Yes. But first things first, I gotta ask, uh -huh. what is Hout? <laughs> that is a good question. Hout is a German word that means skin. Makes sense. Yes, and I don't know about you, but when I think of Germany, I do think of like well-made cars <laughs> and well-made medicine, right? That's right. I guess it just comes with a brand name. Yes. Now, what's also in the brand name is PH. Mm -hmm. You can tell by that that it really prioritizes healthy skin. That is true because the pH level of our skin determines the acidity, which is so important for the health of our skin. That's true. And as you can see in the product name, they are trying to maintain a pH level of 5.7, which has scientifically been proven to be the sweet spot for healthy skin. Oh. So both of these Hout 5.7 cleansers help maintain that level throughout the day. Wow, this mm -hmm. is super smooth. Yeah. So right now I am trying the gel to foam cleanser. Ooh. So as you can see that this is just kind of the, the first step of cleansing when you want to get rid of that makeup. That is true. That gunk. Mm -hmm. All that gunk. You can see here for the morning foam cleanser. Oh, wow. Yeah, this one has a nice creamy texture it to really it. It really does. You know, I think we should try and put some water oh, on Oh, should these. we? They're cleansers, so of course you're going to be adding water to this when you're washing your face. It's getting a little messy, but bear with us. <laughs> Just so you can see the product. This is really smooth because when you're cleansing, you don't want to put a lot of friction on your face, right? That's true. You don't want to pull your skin too hard because that's just going to damage your skin. Yeah. This allows it you to cleanse while the fingers glide so smoothly over the skin. Yeah, yours mm -hmm. is really foaming up. Mine is kind of lathering up a little bit, slowly yeah. but surely. Mm -hmm. But this is basically what we're talking about. This is the mild cleanser that will kind of get that burden off your shoulders, right? Yes. So the Good Morning Cleanser is made with a plant-derived surfactant, yes. which makes it perfect for light morning cleansing to mm -hmm. wash off kind of just the unnecessary oil that builds up on your face when you wake up? Yes, because in the morning, yes, you maybe have accumulated some dirt and oil on your skin, but you don't have a lot of heavy things on it. So right. over cleansing your skin can actually be bad for it because you're stripping away the good parts of your skin. This is true. Uh huh. It's also recommended if you have particularly sensitive skin to use this lighter cleanser. So what would your face be like after a long day from work? Well, I don't know about you, but if you're working outside or working inside, it seems like you get a lot of dust on your face. You do. A lot of dirt. Then you know you gotta have your sunscreen on. Mm -hmm. And if you're wearing some kind of foundation or other makeup, there can be a lot of gunk on your face by the end of the day. That is true. Uh -huh. So again, you know, it's, it's, it's really hard to get all of that cleaned up mm -hmm. with one wash. It's true, actually, I tend to wash like two, three times. So do I. Just because it, it doesn't feel like my face is really clean. But what if, because all the hard work of the day, mm -hmm. you can't manage to wash not twice, but even once? Oh, that's so annoying. Too tired. You know, you've worked all day, you're tired, you just want to go to bed, but you have a lengthy cleansing routine. No that's one right. wants that. It's super annoying. Uh -huh. But now with one cleansing, you can have all your makeup, all that dust stuck to your face from the outside cleaned off with mm -hmm. not two, but one wash. Because I'll show you the Goodnight Cleanser, which has, once again, this gel oh. to foam now combined. You can end your day with, again, one good cleansing. Yes, and it smells fantastic. Doesn't it? It has a nice refreshing smell, so after you've come home, you're tired, it's just a blast of freshness in your face so you can sleep very well. Calmly. Yeah, honestly, mm -hmm. it feels like you're having the spa treatment right at home. Ooh la la! Right? So, <laughs> first again, uh, as I showed you guys, spread the Goodnight Cleanser onto your face, spread with a rolling motion like you would do normally, yes. and this will melt your makeup. And then after that, you want to add some water, get the lathering going that'll mm -hmm. turn into foam, and now you keep rolling and then you wash it off, and this will get all that makeup out 
with one wash. Yes, but they do recommend if you're wearing eye makeup like mascara, you'll want to cleanse that off first before you use this That's cleanser. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's a little hard to take off even with regular cleanser. Yes, but I do like how even though this cleanser is more of a foamy type of, a jelly type of texture, it's staying on your skin quite well. It does. So even when you're washing, you don't have to worry about the product falling off. That's true. It's going to stay there. Yeah. Sometimes they just slide <laughs> off and you're like, oh, do I need to do another pump? It's so messy. It's a waste. <laughs> yes, but these two products are great for cleansing throughout the day. So, Panita, yes. what is your best pick? Oh, my gosh. Mm. My best pick is PH Hubby's Hout 5.7 Foam Cleanser and Hout 5.7 Gel to Foam Cleanser.